It's time to batten down the hatches and prepare for any wayward souls the pirates of Lake Erie we're going to defend against them are, right? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's time to imagine it with Carl Nelson. He's the chief scientist. I'm saying that because it looks like we have some rockets pointed right at the Maumee River. We do. So, it, it's summertime. This is so easy to do and build at home. You can make one of these rocket launchers. Instructions are on our website, imaginationstationtoledo.org. But basically what it is, a two-liter bottle with some water inside as fuel. Okay? Just water. So this is a great example of Newton's laws of motion. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. This is a little bit fancier than most kids have at home here, though. But well, you can you know, do this. If you head to your local home improvement store, you can find some of this PVC pipe <laughs> and all this sort of stuff. It doesn't have to look exactly like this. But Tony, come on over. Right. You're going you're gonna to provide the pressurization. Okay. We're going to pump some air inside this two-liter bottle. I've got okay. it sealed up. Okay. And yeah, just keep going. I'm going. Keep going. I'm jackhammering down here with the construction workers. We're going to build up a lot of pressure <laughs> inside this bottle. And I don't think we're quite there yet. So maybe go a little bit slower. There you go. Ah, Perfect. Perfect. Just, just too just keep excited going. about this experiment. So what's going to happen here is you're going to pressurize this bottle. When I think we have enough pressure, I'm going to pull this cord. Okay. The water is going to shoot out the back. The rocket should go forward. Okay? <laughs> what do you mean it, it should well, go it forward? It should go forward. All right. Okay. So you might want to. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Step aside. Step aside. You'll aside. get wet. Three, two, one. Whoa! It's way up there. Where'd it go? And it's almost to the ground. Okay. All right. You got some air yeah. out of that well, one. You know, that was actually a little bit disappointing. And it's disappointing <laughs> really? because, well, because it was missing fins for stability. That makes total sense. Okay, it was missing a little bit of weight in the front. We got some uh, modeling clay in the front here to shift okay. the center of mass forward. That provides a little bit more stability for the rocket. So we're going to try this again. Okay. Tony, I've actually loaded you up with the monster rocket Locked over there. Locked and loaded. I'm going to the monster it's rocket. It's got all sorts of uh, wiggly eyes on it. <laughs> and so what you need to do, go ahead and yeah, go ahead and lift up the rocket like oop, that and oop. start pumping okay. and build up some air pressure inside. Starting now. Yep, just keep pumping. Nice. You're doing yours? You got I'm yours? I'm doing mine, yeah. And we're going to see which one goes further. Again, the whole idea here is that we're building up pressure inside. That pressure will be suddenly released, forcing the water out the back, which acts as the propellant. Now, of hopefully, course. hopefully <laughs> with these fins and nose cones and weight in the front, these guys are going to go significantly farther, straighter, okay. and more impressive than our last naked <laughs> two-liter bottle out there with nothing on it. Again, right? if you try this at home, try it with an adult under supervision. Yes. Okay, I don't think All I right. can pump anymore. I can't either. All what right, are so we doing wait. on? I got to get, get alignment here. 45 degrees is the optimal angle. <laughs> All right, you ready? Three. We're going to go three, two, two one. one, pull. Look at that one. Yes. Almost in the river. <laughs> Almost in the river. Take that, pirates. <laughs> <laughs> got a little bit of spray on my ocular glasses here, but they that's are why for you safety had the reasons. safety glasses on. That's, that's right. Why. Well, hey, if you want to come down to the Imagination Station, of course, you can try that one anywhere, especially outside. But you can see the hours on your screen there. I'm a little winded from all the pumping. It, it gives you a good workout. Whew, all it's right. <laughs> and that is this week's Imagine It.